joined by the Central Arkansas women's basketball coach, Sandra Rushing. Coach, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. It seems like it's been a while since we've talked about basketball, thought about basketball. What are you and your team looking most forward to about this 2021 season? Well, we're excited about getting on the floor. And we were so happy when official practice started. Uh, you know, the last nine months have been very challenging, not only for, you know, athletes, but people across the country. And, you know, we're just into the new normal, the new routine. You know, having to check temperature, tell them to wear face masks, uh, social distancing. And, and really one of the, the hardest thing is asking them to give up their social life. Uh, but I think our players have bought in. We've got great protocol around here, and they're doing what they need to do. You talk a little bit about your players. You guys return quite a few letter winners from last year. You, you graduated a couple starters, but who have you seen really step up in terms of being a leader, whether they were there last year or someone who's new coming into the program? Well, I, I really think that's still up in the air. Uh, I think Roe has done a great job of leadership, being very vocal. Uh, you can tell she was committed through the summer in the weight room and getting in shape. Uh, I am returning a lot of players, but I'm returning a lot of role players. And the role players, uh, they're going to have to step up. Somebody's going to have to step up and, uh, you know, help lead this team. Uh, I'm excited about this team. I've got great young women. Uh, I love their energy. It's just right now, it, it's really hard to tell anything can happen. But I'm excited about our depth, the depth that we have uh, with our new new people. And I do see a couple of our new players being able to step in the leadership role. You guys have 10 upperclassmen between seniors and juniors. I know the last couple of years you've had younger teams or just with transfers coming in, people who hadn't played together or with the program. How has your experience in the last couple of years helped you guys get to where you are now? Well, the last couple of years have been very challenging for our program. As you know, we didn't make the conference tournament uh, last year, and, and it's still a bitter taste in my mouth. And, and I hope it is for the returners. It should be. You know, our, our, our thing here is we want to win championships. And, and you know, it, it's, you want your players to understand that you've got you to practice at championship level every day, every day. And I can't say that we've been consistent with that. I can say that we've had – uh, several days of that and, and it's forming habits and good habits and uh, with that many new players like I said eight returning seven new players uh, our returners have done a great job though of uh, helping the the new players adjust to our system and letting them know what what we need to do and what we shouldn't do with a couple weeks left to prepare for the start of the season, hopefully, knock on wood, uh, what are some things you need to see out of them with, in terms of practice, in terms of just getting, getting ready for the season? Well, I think, uh, as I said earlier, I think this, this team has committed, though, to uh, the weight room and getting in shape. I thought that was key, especially since we didn't have an all-season of summer and very little preseason. Um, but I think – you know, I'm a defensive coach. We've got to continue to work on our defense. But it's the fundamentals that we're working on. I think too many coaches, they waver from fundamentals. And I think you have to work on it every day and spend a little bit of time, which is frustrating at times because you want to put all your team uh, stuff in. And, and, and it's you just got to manage your time. And I think that's the most important thing going into the season is managing the time in practice and what we need to work on. And then lastly, you talked about wanting to be tough on defense, obviously wanting them to grow as a team. What are goals that you have for this team moving forward into the season? Well, I think – I hope we get to play the season because we talk about this is the unknown year and that we have to, you know, adjust to whatever's thrown at us and we have to be smart. But we're going to continue to work on defense. Uh, we spent a lot more time, and I know people won't believe this, but we spent a lot more time on offense than I ever have. Because uh, you got to put the ball in the basket. You have to put it in the basket. But uh, defensively, we've been working a lot on our, our start, stop, step, our lateral movements, and just the uh, team chemistry with defense because our philosophy is not man-to-man. -man, it's team defense. And uh, just like offense, if you mess up on offense, it throws everything off. Defensively, you got to know the position and where to be. And that's been a lot of teaching. But it's been fun because we get to be on the, the floor. And they're fun to be around. They have so much energy. Um, again, it's the unknown year. Anything can happen. 